Hey, it's Ali Schaefer, and uh, we got the camera on a tripod, so it's nice and steady. And a really quick video about uh, what I did with this underpainting because I had someone comment about it. You can see it's got a lot of uh, drawing uh, involved on it, on the color, and the drawing was done with uh, a piece of vine charcoal. But you know, with an underpainting, you want it to be, I don't know, kind of fixed down. I, I, I'm kind of a notorious fiddler like Degas with trying to experiment with media and whatever. And so I said in my blog post how I used a, um, an atomizer for this and uh, to fix it down. So uh, my primary medium, which I mix in this bottle that I take with me, is 50-50 uh, liquid and Gamsol. Um, mixed 50-50 and it's really watery and it's acrylic resin and so it dries uh, pretty fast. And um, so this, this thing which I did just a couple days ago is completely dry. I kept the paint brushy but I kept it watery also. So once it dried then I scraped it with a palette knife just to get any of the knobs off and it feels really smooth. Um, and, uh, and then what I did was I used this thing which is a mouth atomizer and you blow through here and then you dip the little bottom part here into whatever you want to blow it could be acrylic paint it could be oil paint it could be fixative or whatever and so I just stick this right in here and then blow away now you um, you want to uh, do this obviously in the well ventilated area and it's really ventilated out here because my studio is outside. And, um, but uh, it just applies a really nice coat of, uh, of a very thin layer of the liquid which soaks in and fixes down the charcoal lines. And so I, could, I can brush over this now once this is dry. Um, I mean I've already done this once, I'm redoing it, but I could brush over this and the line is there for good. I mean, this could be done. Ready ready for the market. <laughs> anyway, uh, there you go. Hope that was helpful. A little bit of uh, Jurassic technology.